Just as in scales, in arpeggios, we've got the problem of getting the thumb under the hand. So it's worth thinking carefully about the fingering. Traditionally, the D major arpeggio in the right hand, we were all taught to start with the thumb on the D. Now, when we then want to get the thumb under onto the high D, we're having to go under the third finger, which is on a white note. That's quite a long way to go. So it encourages the arm to stick out quite a lot. I call it chicken wings, which can interrupt the musical flow of the arpeggio. So instead of that, I start with the D major arpeggio on the second finger. So two, four. Now the thumb comes under that black note. So you've got a bridge there. So it's much easier for the thumb to come under. Not only that, but the interval is only the interval of a minor third. So it's nowhere near as far to go. 